Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mostly, and today I have a new video for you. So you might be asking, Mostly, why you're not showing your left hand? It's because I have something on my left hand. Mm. It's makeup. So today I am gonna do a small review about three different types of makeup wipes. Um, these makeup wipes, they look very similar, and you can find all of them together in Target. Pretty much the same aisle. Um, yeah, they, they are putting exactly together. So I got Pond's Evening Sooth um, Cold Cream Technology Makeup Towelettes. Uh, it's moisture clean towelettes. And this one, I think it came with 34, yeah, it came with 34 towelettes in one pack. And we have refreshing wet cleansing towelettes um, from Up and Up brand. And it came with paraben free 30 sheets. And then we have Pond's Original Fresh Moisture Clean um, Towelettes. And this one comes with also 34 towelettes. So these two um, are the original one, and this is like the alternative brand sort of stuff. Um, just want to try it out for you all. So I just want to try it out for you all. So I got all of them. I've been using them collectively for half month now, and I feel like I have come to a conclusion. And today I'm gonna give you all my opinion. So first of all, I really, really have a favorite in here, which is this evening soothing one. Um, this evening soothe one. It smells really nice. It does smell soothing, and I do like it. Um, it has chamomile and white tea extract in it, and here, and it has the cold cream technology. So if you don't know what is the cold cream technology, which is um, ponds, they have a great jar of makeup remover. It comes with cream. It's called cold cream, and um, I will put a link down below. You can see what it looks like. Um, I originally didn't know about it and I saw one of the drag making makeup video and she used that to remove her makeup and then I sort of get to know that but personally that's not my favorite. I feel like uh, makeup oil, just remover oil is so much easier so yeah. So I got these makeup wipes. Um, I don't remember the price of them but you um, can see the links down below to check out how much they are. Um, and in my opinion, I really like this one the best and then this one, the original one. So first of all, it came with 34 sheets compared to the upper, up and up one have 30 sheets. I do think I prefer the better one. And they all came very bulky compared to the Garnier one I have reviewed before. These come with too much sheets in my opinion. Uh, you might be good to use it at home. But um, still, that's not my favorite, and I'm gonna talk about it right now. The reason uh, I don't prefer it is because I feel like, although the cold cream technology, I do like it, I do prefer the Garnier one. I feel like they're much more easier. They take off my makeup super, super easy. Each night I use pretty much one and a half sheet, I'll be fine. Um, but these Pond's ones, I have to need to to um, sheets of them. It's not because the, the serum in there is not enough. Um, the product in there is actually quite moisturizing. It has a lot of product in it. But um, in my opinion, it's just not as powerful as the Garnier one. I always take it off and then I look in the mirror, I still have leftovers on my face. So I have to take it off again. And this time, if I use a, just a white cotton round, have a little moist, uh, makeup remover on it and just go for the corners, I still have a lot. Just like in my pores, it hides in there. That's why it's not my favorite. And the Up and Up one is refreshing. It's not refreshing. It doesn't feel refreshing at all. I don't know which part of this is refreshing. I think it's just want to tell you that this is like take off your makeup. Um, in my opinion, it's a little bit dry compared to the other two. It doesn't have the same kind of scent in my opinion. And I just feel like it, it also it doesn't save you that much money because it has four less pieces in there. So in my opinion, it's there's no reason for you to get up and up brand in this case. Um, I, if you really like the Pond's brand, I would suggest you just go for the Pond's instead of going the up and up. So now I have all this makeup. I prepared on my hand um, here and I want to show you all 
like the power of them separately to see how that works. So I'm gonna take one sheet of tons. Um, I am going to get this. So this one, if you can see, it's um, it has a lot of juice in it. So it's like every time you get it, it's not like like. It's not like serum, you get a little bit of that film kind of style in it. So it's very moisturized in my opinion. So now I'm just gonna test it out for you. So I'm gonna go with this one right now. So this is a liquid lipstick I'm wearing by Cat 1D. So as you can tell, it still has a little bit of that like stain on it, but I think that's majorly fine. Um, in my opinion, that's like already okay for me because if it is on lips, you pretty much won't be able to see it. And now this is um, gel, gel type of um, eyeliner, and I'm removing it. These um, have a problem is sometimes it has the stain that you just can't remove it. I don't know why, but Garnier hardly give me those problems having stains on my arms or whatnot. So if you can tell, it's still like a little bit dark, it still has a little bit of stain. And now we're going for the liquid eyeliner, because I mean, that's what everyone's wearing recently. And this eyeliner is actually um, the NYX one, it's not even waterproof, um, it's just a usually type of eyeliner. So that eyeliner is pretty clear, but the gel one I think it still has a little bit like like darkness on it. And now we are going for um, the Pond's Evening Sooth version. I'm getting this. It smells really different. It has a heavy scent. Uh, if you're not that type of people who like scents, I don't recommend you all to get it. So now I'm going in. This one is also very moisturizing. Um, it's I don't know if you can pick it up, but like if you touch it, this is what happens. Like, you touch it a little bit, you have films on your hand. So it's very moisturized. Um, it does have enough cream in it. And I'm kind of taking it off right now. So this is what we left. And then we are going for the gel eyeliner. This is the gel eyeliner. So the gel eyeliner, eyeliner, I feel like it's pretty clean, but still, um, the camera, if I can pick it up, it still has a little bit darkness left over. It's just like, like a slightly dark stripe on my arm. And now we're going for the liquid lipstick, uh, liquid eyeliner. The liquid eyeliner gets off really easily. And it's gone. So that's what we have. And now we're going for the Up and Up brand. The upper and mouth brain is very dry, so now I'm going to do the same thing, squeeze some um, serum. I'm going for the thick part because that's where it has the most, but as you can see, it doesn't have any foam on it, and if you squeeze it, it doesn't have anything coming out. It's compared to the other one, it's pretty dry. I don't feel like it has the cold cream technology. Um, I think it's just like regular makeup remover kind of wipes. And also um, the fiber they use is a little bit different. This one is, um, I don't know, I think it's softer than this one in my opinion. I do prefer this kind of fabric instead of this. So yeah, we are keep going. And now we're taking off the lipstick. I'm going very heavy hand right now. Um, just to try to get that off because this one is pretty dry um, Usually it takes me a couple uh, hour, minutes to take off my makeup Okay, so that one is gone and now I'm taking care of that gel eyeliner As you can see the first couple stripes is not getting it off you have to go for a second um, time to get it off and the gel eyeliner is really giving me a hard time. As you can see, the gel eyeliner still have a stripe. I don't know if it is clear on camera, but in real life, it's super, super clear compared to the other two. And now we're going for the liquid eyeliner. We're 
we're going in again just to make sure it's all off okay I think it's pretty much off but you can see how skin my red is just to get it off and um, if you look at my skin in here you can see a little bit dark stripe that's the gel eyeliner where it was so um, yeah that's you can see um, the up and up one is compared to the other one is really really dry um, I do not recommend it um, and the ponds one, those both of them have heavy scent. They're not scent free. So if you're the kind of person who just don't deal with scents, I do not recommend you all to get them. But yeah, that's the end of this review. If you like this video, please leave a like and leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel and share with your friend. And I'll see you next time. Bye.